Here we are at the luxurious Hyatt Regency Hotel in Santa Monica, California, in Juneau, Alaska. The weather is, is cold on election day. A harsh light is being held in front of my eyes, just like it was at the Soviet prison camp where I served 15 years in solitary confinement for biting the head off a live Matryoshka doll. My name is Peter Himmelman. I'm speaking quietly now, which is not my normal way, but there's some panel and a guy actually hit me in the kidney with a stick one more time and I'll have to go on dialysis. Anyway, I have a online video show. It's like a television show, a musical variety show called The Furious World. And we stream this show. Uh, it's been streaming weekly for two years, two long and arduous years reaching out to fives of fans not really hopefully more than that um, and we use this online platform called Ustream is that an online video platform OVP I didn't even know what that was and I learned a lot of things today I learned what a UX was which is a user experience which I think I'll be bringing into my a lot of these abbreviations I'll be using in my normal life conversations with my children my mother my wife um, I actually learned probably more than anyone at the panel because I knew less than anyone. Different ways, for example, on our website, you're not able to get our website from an iPhone. So I'm going to be rectifying that, calling Kurt, I'm sure, using his valuable resources, hiring him, paying the millions that I make from the oil geyser, which I recently discovered in my backyard. Any questions? I, I do better with specific questions. Otherwise, it's a long ramble, anything specific. Peter, what's the value that an online video platform like Ustream has brought to you and added value to your, you know, your music, to your fan base? Yeah, we've, we chose Ustream initially because it was, uh, had a good logo and it was free. And what they brought to us is pretty much everything. They've selected our show among hundreds and thousands of shows that they have, fingernails growing, which is a very slow process. Some people are amused by it. I'm not. But our show they picked because it, it looked like a real television <clears throat> show. It had that organic quality of a Sid Caesar meets uh, Tom Petty. And uh, so by hosting our show on their, on their well-trafficked, trafficked website we get our millions and millions of viewers and those viewers have given me money just because they're inured with the product that we created and I become fabulously wealthy I've actually been prior to two years ago a woman I've always wanted to be a man I had a sex change it's not exactly what I wanted the look I was going for but through the Ustream money I've been able to to, to carve out an image for myself that I think is attractive to many. <laughs> Why video? Why are you using video as an artist? Yes. What's imp so important about video? I'll try not to be tangential. Why am I using this platform to begin with as a music artist? Really because the music industry as we had known it is pretty much done. The death knell has sounded and in, instead of like crawling up into a, a fetal ball and soiling myself, which a lot of my compatriots have done, I decided to try something different, something proactive. And it's this online video where we have different musical guests and there's a lot of music. It's just a new way to put that product out there. Though in the back of my mind, the fetal ball thing, it, it rests as a, as a possible idea. And that's not my first choice, it's like my fifth. Thanks very much.